Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Life Gen Clan Gen. There's been a pretty big update going on and I also wanted to mention thank you to everybody who went over to my stream some days ago. It was really fun to chat with you all and just have a lot of fun with each other. If you would ever like to watch the previous stream, I believe it should be within the live section of my channel if you'd like to go watch it. Uh, I do apologize for some of the technical difficulties we had during the stream, um, but in the end I'd, I'd say it all rather worked out and I think we all had a lot of fun. And continuing onward from that, I did enjoy seeing you guys like the idea of potentially having an evil medicine cat, so hopefully we'll be able to go down that path today. Here we are in Ant Clan, where we live under the earth like a bunch of little ants. And here we are, we are little ferret kit. We were scared after having a nightmare. We are a daydreamer and we are interested in the dark forest. There is then Mouse Kit, who is sure she could fight a badger. She is daring and confident with her words. Skip Pounce, an elder. She's complaining about being cold. She's confident and a good mediator. She's also currently injured with a sprain. We then have Silt Roach. He is compassionate, has helpful insight, and is a good speaker. He's looking forward to today. We then have Strike Splinter. She's regretting her life choices. She's adventurous, has helpful insight. We then have Chive Pa, who is showing us the proper way to do a hunter's crouch. His mentor is Bear Chaser. He's charismatic, a restless sleeper, and an avid play fighter. We then have Thunderpaw, who has so much to learn. She has Black Trail as her mentor. She's lonesome and has an active imagination. Splash Freckle, he finds Chive Paw to be annoying. He is cold and a lore keeper. We then have Black Trail, who's trying to set a good example. She's adventurous, an impressive climber, and a good fighter. She has Thunderpaw as her apprentice. We then have Wasp Stripe. He's going to bed early. He's responsible and a ghost speaker. Then we have our medicine cat, Rosie Blink. She wonders how Splash Freckle's doing. She's bloodthirsty and very clever. We have Bear Chaser, who's the deputy. She's in the medicine den. She has Chive Paws, her apprentice. She's adventurous, an impressive climber, and an incredible runner. And then we have Mouse Star, who is checking on the kids. She is rebellious, a great teacher, and a great speaker. And if we look in the afterlife, we'll find that we have no cats in Star Clan nor in the Unknown Residence until we go to the Dark Forest. Where here we had the previous Medicine Cat Apprentice named Bittern Paw. He was sneaky and a good storyteller. He says, hello, I'm here to drag the dead cats of Ant Clan into the dark forest. So we have our dark forest cat there, and you might be wondering what this little thing is. Well, that means we can actually talk to different cats. And we are but a tiny little bitty bean. So instead, oh, okay, it won't let me do the patrol. All right. So instead, let's go ahead and talk to who will soon be our mentor, Rosie Blink. Oh, you're a curious little one, aren't you? Sneaking into my den again to explore. I see the twinkle in your eyes. You remind me of myself when I was a kid. But remember, young one, this den isn't just for fun. It's a place of healing and rest. The herbs here, they aren't just leaves and flowers. Each has a purpose, a role to play in keeping our clan healthy and strong. See this leaf? It's called Yero. It can help a cat vomit if they've eaten something poisonous. And this one, the bright yellow flower? That's Marigold, good for preventing infection and wounds. A medicine cat's duty is not just to heal, but also to listen to Star Clan and or the dark forest. They guide us, give us omens and signs. It's a big responsibility, but it's also an honor. We bridge between our clan and our ancestors. Don't worry, 
Being a kid's a perfect time to learn. Curiosity is a gift, one you should nurture. Just remember to respect the den and what it represents. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one teaching a curious kid about the ways of a medicine cat. I love just being able to have these little conversations. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit save. And here we are. We have no parents, but we do have a sibling named Marigold Kit. Let's see. Thunderpaws now becomes Thunder Eyes in honor for her intelligence. Strike Splinter has a little runny nose. Look, it's our sister. She's snuggling up to us. She is charming and splashes in puddles. Uh, okay, so we're playing pretend we are bossy, interested in the dark forest, and a moss ball hunter. Okay. Mouse Kit's trying to sneak out of camp. Skip Pounce wants to get to know Mouse Star. Silt Roach is wondering about Black Trail. Strike Splinter is complaining. Chive Paw is asking Skip Bounce how things have changed since they were a paw. Thunder Eyes is sparring, so she is lonesome and a good kid sitter. Splash Freckles trying to set a good example. Black Trail wants to be alone. Wasp Ripe uh, roused the other cats to awaken at dawn. Rosie Blink is hoping Mouse Star notices her improvement. So is Bear Chaser. And Mouse Star is picking burrs from her pelt. Let's go ahead and talk to our sister. Did you know I'm going to be the best warrior ever? I'm going to catch the biggest mice and run faster than any cat. I can't wait until I'm an apprentice. I'll learn all the warrior moves and no one will be able to beat me. Sometimes, when no one is watching, I pretend I'm fighting other clan cats. I always win, of course. I know it'll be hard work, but I can handle it. You'll see. I'll make our clan proud. Just wait until my name is called at the warrior ceremony. It'll be the loudest cheer you've ever heard. Like your confidence, sis. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get up to. Go to investigate. We identified the herb as Marigold and our medicine cat was very impressed with us. Okay. Let's see. Accidentally, sn we snuck around in the warrior's den and accidentally woke someone up. So we got, uh, got scolded for that. Bear Chaser's tail was injured. Okay, some bruised pride, nothing that bad. Our sister's always on her best behavior. We are asking the medicine cat about Star Clan. Mouse Kid is running around. Skip Bounce is feeling restless. Silt Roach is snoring. Strike Splinter wonders about Wasp Stripe. Tripod's having a hard time. Thunder Eyes is curious. Splash Freckle is hissing. Black Trail wants to get to know Rosie Blink better. Wasp uh, is eavesdropping on us. Rosie Blink's staring off into space. Bear Chaser's curious. Mouse Star is wondering about what possible dreams she might have had from Star Clan. Let's talk to her sister. Hey, you there. I've been looking all over for you. I found the most amazing bug today by the nursery. It was huge. You have to come see it. Do you remember that time when we pretended to be clan leaders and started giving orders to the elders? They were so surprised. That was the best day ever. You're the best thing about the nursery, even better than fresh moss and feathers. And when we're warriors, we'll be the best in the clan. I know it. No mouse will be safe from us. Look at that. We have such a nice supportive sister with us. Oh, so here is our parent. She was a kitty pet. We'll favorite her. She was our parent. Let's see. If we'd like to sneak out, absolutely. But a warrior spotted us and we were sent back. Curious about our leader. Strike Splinter has a sprain. Meanwhile, Skip Bounce has recovered. See, our sister is pestering older cats to play with her. We are annoying the older cats. Mouse Kit is boldly walking out of camp. Skip Pounce is helping with camp cleanup. Silt Roach wants to be alone. 
Strike Splinter is complaining again. Chive Paw is lining nests with fresh moss. Thunder Eyes went on for a long moonlit stroll the other night. Splash Freckle wonders why others snap back at him. Black Tail is daydreaming. Wasp Stripe is grooming. Rosie Blink wants to get to know her sister Marigold Kit better. Bear Chaser is assigning cats to Hunting Patrol, and Mouse Star is eavesdropping on Splash Freckle. Okay, let's see. No, our sister and Mouse Kit didn't listen to us, but that's okay. Had a nice little nap. Chive Paw is now Chive Bramble, honoring his friendliness. Skip pounds its heat exhaustion. Our medicine cat has some scratches. Sister is rolling around cutely while the warriors look at her. We tell Bear Chaser to catch us some fresh prey. Mouse Kid is still boldly walking out of camp. Skip Bounce doesn't like how things have changed. Silt Roach is eavesdropping on Black Trail. Strike Splinter feels unappreciated. Chive Bramble is rethinking his life choices, so he's charismatic, a strange dreamer, and a formidable fighter. Okay. Thunder Eyes woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Splash Freckles trying to set a good example. Black Trail's trying to set a good example. Wasp Stripe is hoping Silt Roach would tell him a new story. Rosie Bling's thinking about taking on a new apprentice. Bear Chaser's craving a mouse, and Mouse Star wonders how Black Trail's doing. What does our sister say? Do you know how to swim? I heard some other cats do it all the time. I tried it once in a puddle. It was, um, a little wet. But I bet it's fun when you get the hang of it, like being a fish. Maybe I could learn how to swim properly when I'm a warrior. I'd be the first cat who can swim super fast. Just imagine, swimming up to a gathering, everyone would be so surprised. Sure thing, sis. Let's see. We were not able to recreate the pattern that we saw in the spider's web. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Mouse paws now an apprentice. Bell Chaser fell into a sinkhole and was never seen again. Alright, we got a new deputy now. <laughs> hmm. I guess Marigold Kit will want our position as a medicine cat, but sorry, sis, we're taking that. Okay, so Black Trail is now the new deputy. Our sister is growing fond of us. We're, uh, we're telling Chive Bramble to play with us. Skip Bounce is enjoying the sun. Silt Roach is growing fond of us. Strike Splinter wants to get to know Rosie Blink. Mouse Paw is wishing our sister would play more quietly. Okay, so she has... Black Trail is her mentor. She's fierce and confident with words. Chive Bramble's daydreaming. Thunder Eyes wonders if any cat would miss her. Splash Freckles napping. Wasp Stripe is sparring. Rosy Blink is stocking up on death berries. Black Trail's in the medicine den. And Mouse Star's promising to take care of the clan with the rest of her lives. Let's talk to her sister again. Have you ever wondered what's outside the territory, like really far away, where no clan cat has ever been? I bet it's full of exciting things like giant trees, weird creatures, and... And maybe even monsters. I know, I know. The warrior code says we should stick to our territory, but it's fun to imagine, isn't it? Someday when I'm a warrior, maybe I'll explore those unknown places, but for now, I'll just dream about it. I mean, hey, why not? see. We were not able to climb the tree. We are still too baby. We shall take the path of a medicine cat. And we now have Rosie Blink as our mentor. And our sister Marigold Paw has Wasp Stripe as her mentor. Rest in peace, Bear Chaser. There's Bear Chaser, whispering in the ear of our sister. Okay. I'll prevent her from fading. Skip Pounce is enjoying the sun. So is Silt Roach. Strike Splendor wonders how Mouse Star is doing. 
our sister is hoping Silt Roach would tell her a new story, so she's rebellious in Splashes and Puddles. She's got Wasp Stripe. Mouse Paws Daydreaming. Tribe Bramble wonders how Splash Freckle's doing. Thunder Eyes is looking longingly at other cats as they talk. Splash Freckle's trying to set a good example. Wasp Stripe wants to go on a patrol with Mouse Paw. We're applying cobwebs to wounds. Okay, so we are. We are confident, interested in the dark forest, and a moss ball hunter. Rosie Blink had a nightmare. Black Trail wonders how Skip Pounce is doing. And Mouse Star is questioning her ability to lead. Okay, let's see. Minor Scratch. Bit hesitant and fubbled with the herbs, and our mentor had to help us. Well, it is our first moon. Accidentally mixed up cat mint and thyme. Oops. Strike Splinter passed away due to a dog. Tribe Bramble's feeling better. And Strike Splinter and Skip Pounce became mates before Strike Splinter died. <laughs> Oof. Skip Pounce is looking around. Silt Roach wants to get to know Mouse Paw. Our sister is watching and learning from her mentor, so she's rebellious, splashes and puddles, and now quick to make peace. See, Mouse Paw was helping pick off some ticks. Tri Bramble wants to hear a new story. Thunder Eyes wonders how Tri Bramble's doing. Splash Freckles sparring. While Stripe plans to visit the Medicine Cat, we're hoping to make Silt Roach feel younger. Rosie Blink is feeling excited. Black Tri wonders how Mouse Star is doing, and Mouse Star wants to get to know Silt Roach. Yep, and then here's Strike Splinter. She was startled to find herself in a shadowed forest. Bear Chaser is was watching Wasp Stripe with malice in her eyes. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Various herbs. We managed to do so correctly. Okay, good. Let's see, we correctly identified an herb, accidentally soaked some herbs, went to the gathering with Rosie Blink. Had some fun with our mentor. Skip Pounce is sharing less than helpful wisdom. Silt Roach is giving the clan leader attitude. Mer our sister is hoping for an easy training session. Mouse Paw feels underappreciated. Tribe Brambles purring warmly. Sounder Eyes wishes she was still sleeping. Splash Freckles in the medicine den. Wasp Ripe is telling lies to the apprentices. We are enjoying all the herbs the medicine cat needs. Rosie Blink's craving a mouse. Black Trail thinks we will make a good medicine cat. Mouse Star wants to get to know Silt Roach better. All right, let's see here. Minor injuries, we're a bit shaky and made a few mistakes, okay. Nothing interesting. Splash Freckle got frostbite, okay. Skip Pounce wonders how Wasp Stripe's doing. Silt Roach wonders how we are doing. Our sister is wondering what Mouse Star is thinking. Mouse Paw is bored. Tribe Ramble's telling lies to the apprentices. Thunder Eyes is eavesdropping on Skip Pounce. Splash Freckle is hoping to hear a new story. Wasp Ripe's going to bed early. We are sharpening our claws. Rosie Blink's happy to be a medicine cat. Black Trail's feeling sassy, and Mouse Star's spending a considerable amount of time grooming. What about our dark forest cats? Strike Splinter is watching Mouse Paw with a sly smile. Bear Chaser is tired of the constant mud staining her pelt. Okay. Let's see. Trouble sleeping. We accidentally mixed out mixed up the herbs, but that's okay. Found an injured rogue and we healed them, even though I don't think we would have wanted to. See, things are starting to get better. Tri Bramble has green cough. Skip Pounce is staring off into space. Silt Roach craving a mouse. Our sister wonders how our mentor is doing. Mouse Paw wonders how Tribe Bramble's doing. Tribe Bramble's making note of Miracle Paw's journey as an apprentice. Thunder Eyes is telling lies to the apprentices. So is Splash Freckle. Wasp Stripe's chattering at birds. We want to get to know Mouse Star better. Rosie Blink is hoping Skip Pounce will tell her a new story. 
Black Trail woke up on the wrong side of the nest, and Mouse Star is assessing apprentices. Well, since we do want to get to know our leader better, why don't why don't we talk to her? Greetings, Fair Paw. Your role is unique, treading the line between our physical world and the spiritual. While you focus on the health of our clan, you'll notice how our decisions affect the well-being of all our cats. Clan politics might seem separate from your duties, but they're intertwined. The peace of our clan greatly impacts the health of our cats. Though you remain neutral, your perspective on our decisions is valuable. Always feel free to share your insights. Together, we'll work towards maintaining the balance and harmony of our clan. Alright, that's nice, Mouse Star. Let's see. Still get all of our herbs identified correctly, so that's something. What about... Strike Splinter is watching her mate. Bear Chaser is staring at the f through the fog mournfully. Okay. Nothing interesting. Mouse Paw is now Mouse Mimic, honored for her good nature. Splash Freckles better. Rosie Blink is wearing herbs now. Skip Pounce is enjoying the warm sun. Silt Roach is talking to himself. Our sister feels proud of herself. Mouse mimics sparring, so she's charismatic, a good speaker, and a learner of lore. Chive Bramble wants to get to know Mouse Star. Thunder Eyes is helping to escort us to gather herbs. Splash Freckle wonders how Thunder Eyes is doing. Wasp Stripe wants a shrew. We're checking up on the warriors. Rosie Blink wishes she ate the bird on the fresh kill pile earlier. Black Trail's assigning cats to Dawn Patrol, and Mouse Star almost lost a life recently. Let's see. Strike Splinter is watching our mentor with Malice. And Bear Chaser is whispering in the ear of Skip Pounce. You know what? Let's talk to our sister. Leaf Fall is sure is a beautiful time, isn't it? When the leaves start changing colors, painting the forest in hues of red, orange, and yellow, I feel like the whole forest is preparing for a long rest. Even though prey is starting to hide away and the chill seeping in, there's nothing about leaf fall that feels warm. It's like the forest is giving us a bright farewell before the harsh leaf bear. And then there's the rustling of the leaves under paw. It's hard to hunt without making noise, but I've been practicing. I found that if you move with the wind, you can cover the noise of your paw steps. I wonder, though, how everything changes so quickly. One moment it's green leaf with all of its warmth and abundance, and the next moment it's leaf pear preparing us for the scarcity of prey. But I guess that's how life is, right? A cycle of changes, each one preparing us for the next. It's a lesson from nature, and as a part of nature, we too adapt and grow. Thanks, sis, for that insight. Identifying various herbs, and we accidentally mixed up a couple that time. Oh, okay. We are now Ferret Roar. Kinda love that name, we're Ferret Roar. And our sister also earned her full name, she's now Marigold Bumble, so we're Ferret Roar and Marigold Bumble. Chive Bramble is also feeling better, so Skip Pounce thinks about going outside camp. Silt Roach is enjoying the warm sun. Our sister wants to get to know Mouse Mimic better. She's rebellious, a good swimmer, and a good mediator. Mouse Mimic's feeling excited. Chive Bramble's helping us to gather herbs. Thunder Eyes is hoping Black Trail won't assign her to the next patrol. Splash Freckle's trying to set a good example, and so is Wasp Stripe. We do not doubt ourselves while treating a cat, so we're confident, have a dark forest affinity, and are a good hunter. What's our relationships like? Okay, we seem to be okay with everybody, though we're not a big fan of Thunder Eyes. Don't like her that much. Rosie Blink was startled awake. Black Trail wonders how Skip Pounce is doing, and Mouse Star is hoping from a sign from Star Clan. Let's talk to our sister. Clan history? Now that's a topic. We have a history as deep and as winding as the river. It's full of tales of bravery, sacrifice, love, and loss. Each one of us is part of that history, a single thread in the tapestry of our clan. There are tales of great battles, of leaders who led with wisdom and courage, of warriors who made the ultimate sacrifice for their clan. And then there are the quiet moments, the everyday lives of our ancestors, the hunts, the birds, the changing of the seasons. Every moment is a piece of our history. 
Our history shapes us, guides us, reminds us who we are. But we're not just a product of our past. We're also the makers of our future. So let's make it a good one, eh? Very well said. See a heavy rainstorm. Some herbs were lost. But that's okay. Let's see. Found a famine. Escaped a dog. Mistook signs. Siltroach passed away. And her sister overexerted herself. Let's see. Siltroach... Yeah, he was startled to find uh, himself in the dark forest, I imagine so. Strike Splinter is watching her sister. Bear Chaser is planning something. Okay. Skip Pounce is hoping her legacy will continue. Our sister wishes she was still in her nest sleeping. Mouse Mimic plans to visit the medicine cat. Chive Bumble is wanting to be dazzling. Thunder Eyes is sparring. Splash Freckles trying to set a good example. Wastripes plans to wake up early. We want to get to know Wastripe better. Okay, let's see our relationships a little bit. Alright, everything's okay. Rosie Blink wishes to fight alongside the warriors. Black Trail's eavesdropping on Splash Freckle. Mouse Star is worried about clan relations. Hmm. Let's talk to Wastripe. Clint. Oh, okay. We've already... We already heard that one from our sister. Okay. Let's see. More rainstorms. Some herbs were still lost, but we did our best. Had a successful herb growing experiment. There was a violent thunderstorm. Splash ruggles the runny nose. Our sister is feeling better. Our mentor is okay. Skip Pounds is eavesdropping on Mouse Mimic. Mer our sister is eavesdropping on Mouse Star. Mouse Mimic's feeling excited. Chive Bramble's wondering if we've been given any prophecies. Thunder Eyes is rethinking her life choices. Splash Freckles grunting rudely. While Stripe's feeling lazy, we made a mess of herbs and are panicking. Rosie Blink is hoping to hear a new story from Skip Pounce. Black Trail wonders what Mouse Star is thinking, and Mouse Star is eavesdropping on Chive Bramble. Let's see. Reconsidering some of his choices in life. Sending a message. Scheming. You know what? I don't think Siltroach would be in the Dark Forest, in all honesty. I'm, I'm going to let him be in Star Clan. He's the one good cat. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Treated ourselves to a quiet moment. Managed to treat cats after they battled a fox. Accidentally nearly poisoned ourselves. Mistook a common cold. Lung wart went bad. Thunder eyes. Confessed her feelings to Splash Freckle, but got rejected. Oof. Skip Pounce is eavesdropping on us. Our sister is hoping to go on the next patrol. Mouse Mimic is chatting and laughing. Chive Bramble's sparring. Thunder Eyes wishes she was still asleep. Uh, Splash Freckle wonders how our mentor is doing. Wasp Stripes trying to set a good example. We're checking up on the warriors. Check out our relationships. All right, all good. Our mentor is chattering at birds. Black trails basking in the sun. And Mouse Star is eavesdropping on our sister. Why? Okay. Uh, the double front paw swipe. Have you ever tried that move? It's a powerful one if executed correctly. It involves using both front paws to swipe at an opponent's face or chest, ideally throwing them off balance but it requires great strength and control and leaves you momentarily exposed. The trick is to perform it swiftly and retreat before the opponent can counterattack, but it's a risky move and not recommended for inexperienced warriors. Remember, each battle move carries its own risks and rewards. The key is understanding when and how to use them. 
With practice and experience, you'll learn to use the right move at the right time, turning the tide of any battle in your favor. Thanks, sis. Let's see. Ventured out, but we couldn't find more of the herb that we needed, but that's okay. Misinterpreted a sign. Managed to help our clan leader. Mouse Star and Black Trail became mates. Good for them. Skip Pounce is complaining about her aching joints. Our sister is feeling happy. Mouse mimics sparring. Chive Bramble's feeling happy. Thunder Eyes thinks she's alone with her thoughts and beliefs. Splash Freckles turning away. While Stripe's staring off into space, we wonder how Splash Freckles doing. How's our relationships? Still good. Rosie Blink has been disappearing a lot lately. Black Trail had a nightmare. Mouse Star wants to go on a patrol with her mate and deputy to have a talk. Let's see. Strike Splinter wants to unleash mayhem. Bear Chaser is missing the feeling of the warm nest. Silt Roche is chasing rabbits. All right. Let's see Patch of Sun. Nothing interesting. Thunder Eyes was found dead near a clan border. Okay. Alright. Strike Splinter. Still watching Wall Stripe with Malice. Thunder Eyes is startled to be in the dark forest. No, it will prevent you from fading. Bear Chaser's still scheming. Uh, Silt Roach is watching over Mouse Mimic. Skip Pounce wonders how Tribe Bramble's doing. Our sister's sparring. Mouse Mimic's chattering at birds. Tribe Bramble's sparring. Splash Freckles grateful to Rosy Blink. Wasp Ripe Disease dropping on Skip Pounce. We're checking up on the warriors. Rosy Blink put herbs in prey to give the cat stomach aches. Black Trail is eavesdropping on her mate. Mouse Star wants to get to know Wasp Stripe better. Okay. Let's see. Some of our herbs are ruined. Great. We got green cough now. Our daisy went bad. Rosy Blink now has white cough. There's now lupine kit. Lupine kit. Welcome little lupine. We are sick. So we cannot go on patrol. And we died. <laughs> we died of the green cough. Yep, that figures. Here we are. Rest in peace, dust. But in all honesty, it doesn't surprise me that much. I'd say we weren't really the best medicine cat. And we weren't really able to do much of anything evil, per se. Which I am a little bit sad about, but like... Oh! We can be reborn. Yeah, you know what? Let's be reborn. We're gonna continue onwards, then. As... You know what? We'll do that as our sister. We'll continue onwards as our sister, Marigold Bumble. And sadly, our sister, Ferret Roar, is licking her wounds. And here we are. We are sparring. Let us see. There's a mouse. We just barely missed it, but that's okay. Let's check out our relationships. We have a romantic interest in Mouse Mimic. Okay. Interesting. Nothing interesting. Sparring. Uwam House chastising. Skip Hounds feels too stiff. Mouse Mimic sparring. Let's actually talk to Mouse Mimic. Okay, so we already had this talk with our sister mainly. Alright. Let's see. Got a bird.
Pride is bruised. Goodness. Still sparring? You know what? I'd say let's ask out Mouse Mimic. Might as well. Why not? There's no issue with doing that. We'll just see what it happens. We weren't able to find Miracle, despite it literally being in our name. Let's see, participated in battle. Strengthening the camp walls. How's our sister doing? Practicing battle moves, sure. Ah, oh, we had a fight. We're expecting kits now. That's exciting. Lupine paws, now Lupine stripe, honoring his responsibilities. Skip pounce is dead. Rosie blinks expecting kits. With whom? With whom, I wonder? There's Skip Pounce. So we don't like Wasp Stripe, and Thunder Eyes is watching, watching uh, Lupine Stripe. Okay. Volunteering for patrols and things. I'm probably only going to draw a ferret roar as I feel like uh, continuing onwards as Marigold Bumble here is just like a little side thing. We're going to have a small litter. And Rosie Blink's going to have a small litter. Chai Bumble has changed pronouns. Chai Bumble is now she, her. Gonna hit save. We had two kits. Look at that. Wasp Stripe and Rosie Blink had one kit. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Garlic Kit is one of our kits. He's got our sister's Heather Blues. And also our mate's Heather Blues. He's a bossy boy. So we have Leaf Kit. She has our bronze eyes. So we got Leaf Kit and Garlic Kit. And then Rosie Blink and Wasp Stripe have Wheat Kit. Alright, so Garlic Kit is bossy and Leaf Kit's an attention seeker. Alright. Let's see, there was a gathering. So Garlic Kit's hiding from other cats looks a lot like Mouse Mimic. He is bossy and constantly climbing. So was Ferret Roar. She was bossy. And Leaf Kit, attention seeker, confident with words. Say still looks, eh, I guess has a little bit of white that we did. How's our sister doing? She's planning something, okay. All right, understandable. Our kittens are just uh, being a little weird for Aurora's whispering lies, because of course she is. We have recovered. Rosie Blink has changed pronouns. Rosie Blink is he him now. Our kits are still doing okay. We can go on patrols again. Tribumple died of white cough. Okay. Tribumple. I'd say she probably went to Star Clan. In all honesty, we're watching. We're watching. Okay, so Fairer is watching Mouse Mimic. So maybe, maybe she doesn't like the fact that we're with Mouse Mimic. That could be the case. Let's see, leaf kit, garlic kit, go on our patrol, telling some stories, had some training sessions. Things aren't too bad. How's our kits? Kits are born, wants to be big, of course, volunteer.
Okay, so we're mentoring our daughter Leaf Pa. Okay. Leaf Pa has decided to become Medicine Cat Apprentice. Garlic Pa has Splash Freckle. Okay. All right. So Garlic Pa, he's competitive, constantly climbing. He's got Splash Freckle. Our daughter has us. She's compassionate and confident with words. Okay. We paw. She is righteous and oddly observant. All right. Ferret Roar is sending a message. Okay. Hopefully she'll like her niece and nephew. Especially since one is a lot like her, but Leaf Paw now has yellow cough, which is pretty bad. She might die. Neighboring clan trespassed. Managed to find Marigold that time. Mouse Star now has White Cough. That's pretty bad. Our daughter's probably not going to survive. Nope, our daughter did survive. Wheat Paw has changed pronouns to be they, them. All right. Large Mouse managed to catch it between our paws, but it slipped away. Our son is now garlic back. Mouse Star lost a life. Our son is competitive and a good climber. Okay. Got some extra prey. Wallstripe has a little runny nose. Okay, so garlic back is now ambitious and a good climber. Still waiting for our daughter. Okay, so Wasripe is now retired. Makes sense. He is getting to be a bit older. Ferret Roar is watching for her next victim. Our daughter is now leaf water for her spirit. She's feeling happy. She's childish and a great speaker. Okay. Challenging to a race. Some things went bad. But that's all right. Black Trails expecting kits. She now is wearing a cyan collar. Yep. Sorry, excuse me. Wheat paws now wheat fleck. Black trail thinks she'll have a small litter. Got some more prey. Black trail had a single kitten with splash freckle. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Fuzzy kit. She is a sweet little kitten. All right, that's interesting. I'll say that. wasn't wasn't expecting that. See Fuzzy Kid, there she is. She's sweet and a moss bell hunter. Our kids are doing okay. A few bruises, injures. Got some birds. Showing off some climbing skills. Fuzzy Kid has yellow cough, that's pretty bad. Lost Ripe and Rosy Blink became mates. We now have Lulu Speck. Lulu Speck. She's charismatic, a formidable fighter, and a good mediator. She's very pretty. Got a nice big mouse. 
We watched the sunrise with Lulu Speck. Okay. Fuzzy Kid unfortunately passed away. Fuzzy Kid is not gonna be in the dark forest. I'm sorry, but that is a that is a baby. Babies do not go to dark forest. <laughs> Rest in peace, little fuzzy kit. Got some heat stroke. Our mate was taking food from a two leg. Our mate's expecting kits. We'll have more kits. It's very exciting. Small litter. Okay. Let's see. Two kits. Two more kits. Rosie Blink was buried alive. Rosie Blink and Wasp Stripe broke up, and so did Black Trail and Mouse Star. Rosie Blink and Black Trail felt something. Black Trail and Mouse Star became AIDS again? What? Well, there's Rosie Blink. So we now have Wool Kit and Thistle Kit. I will admit, Woolkit probably looks the most like, uh, like Ferret Roar. Let's see, here's their little eyes and ears open. So Woolkit, he's charming and has an active imagination. And this look at she is noisy and has an active imagination. All right. Okay, so Black Trail has now lost a leg. Our mates recovered. Kits are okay. Grooming and bonding. Yeah, things are still okay. Managed to share a lovely little story. Wheat flex not doing that great. Let's see, our daughter has become a medicine cat apprentice, and I don't think we know. Our son has his older brother Garlic back as uh, his mentor. He's oblivious and has an active imagination. Our daughter, she's shameless and has an active imagination, as she's got weed fleck. All right. Wheat fleck lost their tail. Hunting patrol, trinket monster. Twisting paws, landing on rocks. Our mate has heat stroke. Hmm. Mate's better. Ferret roar, she's whimpering pathetically. It's not great. I'm just going to see how far this takes me. We're expecting more kits. Had a fight. 
of a small litter. Wool paws, now wool dusk, honored for his zeal. Here he is. He's playful, a great kit sitter, and has natural intuition. Proud of our son. Proud of our son. We got one kit. This will pause now. This will quiver. Lost right passed away. Hmm. Okay. Here is Condor Kit. She's the one that looks the most like us so far. She's a daring little kitten. And Dizzle Quiver, she's shameless and a great kit sitter, and she's refusing to groom herself. Of course she is. Of course she is. Rest in peace, Swap Stripe. Here she is. She's daring and a picky nest builder. Lost Stripe, she's planning something. We're watching our niece with malice in her eyes. Okay. It's a little concerning, but only a little. Condor Kit has bruises, this quivers, has white cough. We've healed. Black trails are tired. We are now the new deputy. Look at that. Very exciting. Mouse stars expecting kits. Fair roar, she's snarling at the shadows. Pardon me. Pardon me again. Something's tickling my nose. Now Star saying she'll have a large litter. Reminds us the challenges of leadership. Condor Pa has her older brother Garlic back. Master and Black Trail have four kits. So they had Talon Kit, Charge Kit, Bee Kit, and Prim Kit. Condor Pa, she's charismatic and a picky nest builder. Again, she's got her her older brother Garlic back. <laughs> Who's mentored uh, his his younger brother and now his younger sister? That's rather exciting, I'd say. Open stripe and wheat fleck became mates. Garlic back is now wearing some blueberries. Talon Kit died from the claw wound. We now have Soul Hair that has joined. Where's Soul Hair? Soul Hair, he's ambitious and a good climber. Okay. Let's have this little baby to be in Star Clan. Because again, small babies? No. Ferret Roar's watching Black Trail. Okay. Mouse Star is now recovered. I don't think we would kill Mouse Star just to become leader. I don't think so. That's not something I think Marigold Bumble would do. We now have grandkids. We've got Heather Kit. He is noisy and confident with his words. 
Shrew Kitch, he's daring in splashes and puddles. Quiet Kit, he's troublesome in splashes and puddles. We got three grand kits that our son adopted. Good to have more ge genetic diversity in the clan, I will say. Splash Ruckles wish to join the elders. Bruised Pride. Charred Paw has her daughter. Bee Paw has her son. Cats are feeling better. Let's fair to her. She's slinking through the shadows. Yeah, she had us. There's all of her family tree. Actually, let's check out our relations real quick. Yeah, we're interested in Mouse Star as well. Lupin Stripe, Wheat Fleck a little bit, Lulu Speck a little bit. Splash Freckle has Yellow Cough. Cats aren't doing the best, but we're doing our best. Our grandkid has Garlic Back, Older Uncle, Shrew Paws, Lupine Stripe, Quiet Paw has our meat. We're gonna have some more kits. Let's see. Heather Paw, he's charismatic and confident with his words. Shrew Paw is charismatic, splashes and puddles, and is a lover of stories. And Quiet Paw is troublesome and splashes and puddles, of course. Of course. Of course, but of course. Small litter. Uh, our son, Will Dusk, has green cough. That's not good. We got two more kits. Prim paws, no prim tail. Let's check out our little beans. We got Root Kit. He's a bossy kit, so I guess he's a good mixture of the two of us. And Bud Kit, she's a little know-it-all. Guess looks a little bit more like Mouse Mimic. Just a little bit. We now got Bee Pollen. Alright, so Root Kit, he is noisy and interested in clan history. Bud Kit, she's a know it all and never sits still. Because, of course, she is. Let's see. Condor Wave, she's charismatic and a camp keeper. Prem Tail, Lonesome Lore Keeper, Bee Pollen, Loyal, Learner of Lore, Strange Dreamer. Okay. Helping out other clan members. We now got Charred Fern. Charred Fern, he's charismatic and a lower keeper. Okay. Black Trail died. Wheat Flex expecting kits.
Oh, there's Bug. Alright, Black Trail. There she is. Let's figure out what we're doing. She's scheming. Okay. Okay. We now have Heather Stam and Shrew Tunnel. Reflex gonna have a small litter. Alright, so Heather Stem, he's charismatic and a great speaker. Shrew Tunnel, she's charismatic, a talented swimmer, and a good storyteller. Alright, so all that's left is Quiet Paw then. Mate Fleck and Lupin Stripe had one kit. I just see the kit. Carp Kit. He is a charming kitten. We now have Quiet Splash. Budpaw has Charred Fern. Let's see. Sorry. Quiet Splash. He is troublesome and a good swimmer. Root Paw has... His older brother, Wooldusk, he's confident and interested in clan history. But Pa, she's got charred fern, she's charismatic and never sits still. And this is what Carp Kit looks like with his little eyes and ears open. He's charming and oddly observant. Good for the baby. Good for the baby. No, Condor Wave was found dead. Rupa now has... Alright, well she's, uh... Honestly, I say she wouldn't be in the Dark Forest. She would probably be in Star Clan. Ferrer found a cat she can manipulate. She probably will. Very sad. Garlic backs expecting kits. Gonna get some more grand kits. Garlic back. He's got a weak leg. He's not mated with anybody, so it'll be curious to see who the other parent is. Maybe it's a cat outside of the clan. Small litter. Charred friend got rejected. Oops. We're now the mentor to carp paw. Garlic back and lupine stripe. Okay. Interesting. Let us see our grandkids. We got Bittern Kit. She's a quiet kitten. Bay Kit. She's a charming kitten. Dust Kit. He is an insecure kitten. Okay. It's rather interesting. Root paws now root stripe, honoring his morale. Here's what our grandkids look like with the little eyes and ears open. So Binner and Kit, she's quiet and constantly climbing. Bay Kit, she is charming and has an active imagination. Dust Kit, he's insecure and quick to help. Okay. Root Stripe, he's confident and a learner of lore. Good for him. Our daughter Bud Paws, now Bud Stripe, honored for her affection. Garlic Back's better. Garlic Back has changed pronouns. Garlic Back is they, them. Bud Stripe, she is charismatic, an incredible runner, and has natural intuition. Okay. 
good for her. My cough's getting worse. Still just going out and doing her best. Lulu Speck died from a claw wound. Other cats are doing okay. We now got Luck Branch. Where's Luck Branch? Luck Branch. She is ambitious and a great storyteller. Okay. Honestly, I think with everything, I think maybe to have somebody like in power, because I think she and her sister were pretty kind of okay. I think she would probably kill Mouse Star. So then that way her sister could become leader. Take all. There we go. Add a little add a little drama in there. We're now Marigold Star. I just woke up and she was just she was just dead. We chose our mate, Mouse Mimic, as as our deputy. Decide how to respond, stern warning. Bitter and paw has garlic back. Our apprentice carp paw became carp shiver and now has bay paw. Does paw as an apprentice. Heather stem died. Oof. Shrew tunnel and charred fern became mates. There's our grand kit. He would be in Star Clan. I mean, in all honesty, Mouse Star probably would be too. Though I get the feeling as she was killed by a dark forest cat, her spirit would probably have been dragged down into there. Carp Shiver, he's cunning, has a keen eye. Bittern Paw, she's got garlic back. Her Baba, she's righteous and constantly climbing. Baypaw, she's got Carp Shiver, she's cunning and has an active imagination. Duskpaw has us as his mentor, he's insecure and quick to help. So hopefully we'll, we'll help him out a bit and get him more comfortable uh, with uh, coming out of his shell and such. We're being good and assertive. Starting to feel better. Cats are doing okay. Some stern warnings. Wheat flex expecting kits. 
Hmm. We now have Sage Paw. Sage Paw. She's got Primtail as her mentor. She's fierce and quick to make peace. Charfern and our adopted Grand Kid Shrew Tunnel are mates. I think they're very cute together. Bitter and Paw is now Bitter and Blink, Sage Paw is Sage Speckle, Splash Freckle died. Splash Freckle, there. Yeah, I'd say he'll be in the Dark Forest, why not? Let's see, Sage Speckle, she's fierce and a great mediator. Bitter and Blink, she's righteous and a great climber. That's for a grand kit. Happy for her. Upset about Splash Freckle's death. Wheat Fleck and Lupin Stripe have two kits. They are Falling Kit. She's a polite kitten. And Midge Kit, he is a know it all kitten. Here's what they look like with their little eyes open. Falling Kit, she's polite and oddly observant. Midge Kit is a know it all and interested in herbs. Okay. It would be good to have a third medicine cat. Let's see. Dusk Paw is now Dusk Reed. Dusk Reed and Bay Run. So Bayron, she's cunning, a great kit sitter, and a good climber. Duskreed, he's insecure, a good teacher, and a good mediator. Okay. All right. Oop. There we go. Show us our next moon. We're doing better now. Shrew Tunnel was found dead. Rest Shrew Tunnel, you would be in Star Clan, I'd say. Rest in peace, our adopted Grand Kit. Soul Hair's retired. We have decided to raise war. Brutal battles. Falling Paw has Bud Stripe. Mitch Paw has Sage Speckle. Ended the war. Mouse mimics expecting kits. Gonna have a small litter again. We got two kits. Cats are getting sick real quick. So our kittens are Quick Kit. She looks a lot like Marigold Star. She's a bullying kitten. And then Vixen Kit. She's a charming kitten. I'd say she looks a lot like Ferret Roar. Let's see. Falling Paws. Thoughtful, oddly observant. Midge Paws. Ambitious, interested in herbs. Okay. Please, there we go. Outbreak of Green Cough. 
It's our kits with their little eyes and ears open. So quick kit, she's bullying in splashes and puddles. Fixing kit, she's charming and fascinated by prophecies. Ooh, okay. Quiet splash has yellow cough. We now have Falling Fleck. Falling Fleck, she's thoughtful and has unnatural senses. There was a fire. There's an infection. Things are getting better. Slowly but surely. Our maid has joined the elders. Quick Paw has garlic back. Vixen Paw is now a medicine cat apprentice. Root Stripe died. So Quick Paw, garlic back, cold splashes and puddles. Our daughter Leafwater is now our deputy. Vixen Paw, she is oblivious, fascinated by prophecies, and an avid play fighter. She's got her older sister, Thistle Quiver, as her mentor. See, there's Root Stripe. Confident learner of lore. I don't think he would be in the Dark Forest, personally. That's just my opinion. Not all cats should go to the dark forest. Cats are still okay. Yeah, cats are still okay. Nothing too bad. I'm not really bothering to go on a lot of patrols right now. I'm just curious to see where everything goes. Like Branch and Buttstripe became mates. Sorry, Luck Branch. Came mates with our daughter Buttstripe. Okay. This will quiver is expecting kids. Bud Stripe was buried alive. Oh dear. That's not good. Our daughter would not be there. No. Hopefully this little quiver will be okay with giving birth. We now have quick fire. Wheat flux expecting kids, so the quiver is unsure of how many kids. Quick fire, she's cold and a talented swimmer. We now have Vixen Silk, she's a full medicine cat now. Our mate died. Lupin, Stripe, and Sissel Quiver had two kits. Rest in peace, our mate. I don't think our mate would be in the Dark Forest either. She'd probably be just in Star Clan. Here's our grand kits. We got Gardenia Kit. She's a charming kitten. And Bright Kit, he's a little know it all kitten. Vixen Silk, she is playful, a formidable fighter, and prophecy seeker. Okay, good. Upset over our mate's death. Let's see, Wheatfleck and Lubinstrait had two kits. They got. There's two brights, no. 
Gardenia kid, she is charming, oddly observant, interested in clan history. Bright kid, he's a know it all and a mouse ball hunter. This one also being named Bright kid, I'm not okay with that, so your name's gonna be Pale kid. And then Primrose kid, that's fine. I think I'm gonna be honest though. Some cats are just kinda. Oh, okay, we now have Will of Speckle, who's, where is Will of Speckle? Will of Speckle, he is arrogant, has natural intuition, and is a credible runner. Okay. Starting to feel better. Primrose Kit was grabbed by a hawk, but got saved. Primrose Kit died from the claw wound. Lupin Stripe found an abandoned kit and named them Hound Kit. Bee Pollen and Bittern Blink became mates. Let's go over Primrose Kit. I'm gonna go into Star Clan there, bud. Again, babies do not belong in Dark Forest. I think. I think even the other Dark Forest cats can agree to that. Let's see, Hound Kit. She is troublesome and interested in clan history. She's a very cute little kit. Gardenia Paw has Falling Fleck. Bright Paw has Bittern Blink. Kalpa has Dusk Reed. Okay, so let's see here. Gardenia Pa, she is playful, oddly observant, interested in clan history. She's got Falling Fleck. Bright Pa has Bittern Blink. He's ambitious and a moss ball hunter. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That looks good. Leaflex expecting kitsch, midstock was found dead. Small litter. Let's see. Mitch stock. You know what? Yeah, I'll I'll have her I'll have her in the dark forest, why not? Been a little while. Welcoming a new warrior. Bright paws now bright flip. Hound paw has charred fern. Wait flex, not doing good. So it's the new kits. Our eagle kit, he's a sweet kitten in Anise kit. Anise, is that? Houndpaw, she's childish, interested in clan history. Palepaw is thoughtful, picking nest builder. Okay. Alright. Brightflip, he's ambitious and a good hunter. Starting to feel better. Have another war. The kittens with the little eyes open. So, yep. We then have Gardenia Free. She is playful, a learner of lore, and has natural intuition. Weight flex better. Murmurings of peace. Pale Paw is now Pale Leaf. Truce is called. Loop and Stripe and Wheat Fleck broke up. Oh, okay, that's probably why. Let's see, Pale Leaf, she's thoughtful and a den builder. Okay. Eco Paw has Primtail. An East Paw has Dusk Reed. Let's 
Scarlet back died from the claw wound. Unfortunately, rest in peace, our child. Rest in peace. You're gonna be in Star Clan. Ooh, Hound Valley. She's childish, a lore keeper, and a good kid sitter. Eagle Paw is compassionate, has an active imagination, quick to make peace. He's got Primtail. And East Paw is Duskreed. She's nervous and a picky nest builder. Okay. Gonna hit save, because it's been a little bit since we hit save. Upset about our son's death. Let's see. Keeps getting rejected. We have finally died. How did we die though? Doesn't say. Were we just old? Was that it? I'm gonna be in Star Clan. Let's see, what was our history? We lost our lives when we fell into a hidden burrow. Okay. All right. And you know what? That's going to be it for Ant Clan. I'd say I I wish I could have had more fun. I would have really liked to have continued with Ferret Roar and just go forward with the full-on idea of an evil medicine cat. Maybe we'll try something else next time. Maybe see if we can have that going for us or I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys would have suggested down in the comments. See, our daughter's now Leaf Star, and she's got uh, her brother Wooldusk as, uh, as her deputy. Okay. I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode, and please let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye everybody!